Alright everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So I'm currently here with Joseph and we're just west of a ski resort up in the high mountains of Utah. And we just located a peat bog after a couple of hours of hiking. And this is an incredibly rare resource in Utah. We don't have like peat bogs or like bogs in general because it's like a desert. So This is actually the first time I've seen bog iron here in Utah. I, I actually didn't believe that it existed, but uh, you know, he showed me some photographs. and You know, here we are and look at this, it's like pure iron hydroxide. So how this forms is you got iron rich water coming up out of the ground. Uh, it contains uh, iron sulfide and other uh, iron containing uh, ions. And then uh, bacteria that are living in the bog uh, oxidize the iron using oxygen from the air uh, to convert it to insoluble forms which precipitate out in the bog. Uh, kind of in with the moss and the moss rots away and you're left with the iron. So the crazy thing about this then is it's uh, it's an organic form of ore and one of the things that's really nice about it is it's it's a very very pure form of iron oxides. I mean it's it's smeltable pure meaning you can use primitive techniques like what the Romans had access to and what the Vikings had access to to turn this into usable iron tools. Viking swords were made primarily out of this. I want to make a rock hammer out of it. <laughs> there should be some magnetite formed as well, you know, higher iron oxides, but Apparently there's not enough to stick to this little ceramic magnet. If we got a stronger magnet, we'll be able to tell. It's In also fact, complicated uh, by the, the fact that it's frozen. It's frozen, it's got a lot of water, and it's uh, not very dense. This is, it's almost like a piece of charcoal even. It's pretty. Which is disappointing, because we're only getting one bucket <laughs> down the hill. <laughs> uh, pavement! <laughs> Land! We've made it back down the mountain. Uh, that, was, that was an ordeal. That I don't think we'd do it in another week. No, we got in right before the snowfall would have closed off the pass, right before the government would have closed off the access road, like, this was the last, last, last chance to do it. Well, we were successful, so, oh, yep. that's great. <laughs> so there's the red dirt we got, we went up the mountain, went, you know, 100 feet, another 100 feet, another 100 feet, another 100 feet, finally Is it found, there? found a pile of red dirt right there on the ground, so. Oh yeah, you think you guys can mill iron out of this? Oh, beyond a doubt. We're going to try to... We've got a project where we're going to try to make iron tools like a hammer and anvil head tongs without using a hammer and anvil or tongs. <laughs> so that's the goal. We'll, okay. we'll see. This, this might help us toward I'd, that. I'd love to try out like the Bessemer steel process and actually make steel rather yes. than cast iron. Yeah. But that's like that's like another tier down. Below. That's the level up. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.